Alright, hey guys, Fiddleferret here, and welcome back to another manga haul video, and this obviously for the month of March. Now, I had um, a pretty good month this month buying manga. I didn't buy manga for a long time this month. Um, I had some other, um, like, real life things that required attention, and so I was like, uh, I was trying to be sparse in my manga buying. Um, I actually got a lot of volumes, like, a couple days ago, but technically, I bought them in April, so, um, I'll put those in the April haul, so the April haul should really be, um, a nice good size haul, but, uh, we still got, I think like a good, like, 25, maybe just, like, 25 to 30 volumes or so this month. So we'll go ahead and take week 7, uh, Yen Press, like, they, like, killed it this month with, with pickups, but I got some good used pickups from, from Yen Press, so that's why their pile is so much bigger, but we'll go ahead and start with, why don't we go ahead and start with Kodansha Comics? Actually, I don't think I prefaced and prefaced enough to put my manual focus off. There we go. Now you can see this. So this uh, obviously is real account, and um, you might have seen the first take video I did on this. I do first take videos on a lot of the uh, volumes I do. If you want to see reviews of volumes to figure out if you want to pick them up or not, but um. I actually quite enjoyed this. Um, it had some really interesting qualities. Obviously, I talk about it more in my in my video there, but it really combined the social media and that Hunger Games aspect. Um, it made it really, you know, it was really interesting. The mechanics were definitely what I found most interesting about this series, and I really do look forward to uh, to reading more of it. I mean, it's very um, Marvel is a super interesting character. Man, it's so windy outside. I don't know if you guys can hear that or not. It's so windy. But Marble's a cool bad guy, I guess you could say. So, and then obviously another one um, I talked about was Kiss Him, Not Me. And it was another one. This one really surprised me. Um, I think there are about four volumes out now, and I hadn't uh, really picked up this um, series at all. I didn't really know. Um, it didn't really sound like anything that would interest me, but... I think it was on the Barnes & Noble Manga Monday sale, and I was like, you know what, um, I'll pick it up, I'll give it a shot, it was 50% off, so I was like, oh, I'll buy it and see how it is, and it really surprised me how good it was. If you want to hear me talk more about it, you can go see it in the other video, but it was so good, I was I was really surprised how much I actually enjoyed it, the reverse harem, and then just the the comedy in it was, was really quite, was solid as well. And then tried and true Bleach from old Viz Media. Uh, Bleach is one of those series that I've been reading for a long time. Um, it's I have mixed feelings about Bleach these days, just because I don't know the the, the story. It, it kind of goes off the rails and it gets a bit confusing. I'm interested to see how Bleach ends. I think as everyone who reads it at this point, maybe some people still really really like it. I pretty much pick it up because I want to know how it ends more than I'm really interested in the story at this point. Bleach disappoints me a little bit, but um, who knows how the ending will go. Then One Punch Man, another great this. Oh, I love One Punch Man so much. Uh, you know what's crazy? I cannot believe I'm about to tell you guys this. I haven't watched the anime yet. I had to, I, I know it's awful that I have not watched One Punch Man yet. But oh, this series is so great. It's the the humor, everything about One Punch. If you haven't read it, or I mean, if you're watching anime and liked it, go pick up the manga because it's just as gold. I think I Yokai watched Volume Four. Um, this volume I picked up used uh, because I don't know why some people seem to like buy the volumes and like return them right away. Don't ask me why, but I don't. I think I don't even think I have volumes one or three yet. I think I have volumes two and four, but it was one of those things where it was like I don't know, it's like four bucks. So I was like, well, <laughs> I'll just pick it up because I, I couldn't help myself really. Moving on to uh, the couple uh, Seven Seas pickups we have. We have the second volume and the final volume of the Bodacious Space Pirates Abyss Hyperspace, uh, based off of the movie uh, version. So I haven't read the first volume yet. I'm looking forward to it. I, I didn't realize this. I didn't actually realize this uh, series here was based on the movie. And so I'm interested. Uh, I gotta watch the series probably first. I would imagine. I'm not 100 sure on that, but I have a feeling I should really watch the movie before I like get into. I watch the series before I get into the movie version. And then we have Mushoku Tensei Jobless Reincarnation. Um, this is another series where I wasn't sure, I knew at some point I was going to pick it up, but it really wasn't on my priority list. I was interested to pick it up, and uh, I finally did. I'm trying to remember, I might have got this volume used as well, I actually can't remember. 
Um, I might have bought it new. I'm not really 100% sure. It kind of skips my mind right now. But uh, it was interesting. Though I love magic in like you know RPG type games, and so this really feeds right into that world setting. That you know RPG magic and old you know that that kind of whole world build. Uh, I thought the the characters. We're good. The the harem stuff was a bit off sometimes, but I, I did enjoy it, and I think I will um, look for more volumes of this in the future. And then, bam! Let's go ahead and move on to our big old yen press pile. They definitely they definitely won this this month on most volumes. So we have the first volume of Taboo Tattoo. I haven't had the chance to read this yet. I'm really looking forward to it. You really notice like a trend with a lot of these with the a lot of the manga publishers in the U.S. or in the North American manga publishers and how they pick up series that are, are like similar in a way like again press always has these like dark gritty like with really bl like, like thick black colors and just like dark um, landscapes and stuff like that and then you have like seven seas that is usually like some of the more lighter maybe the more like harem like stuff and then sometimes just more like the love stories and then Viz has got all the shonen stuff but uh taboo tattoo I'm I don't know much about it yet truthfully the art looks good it really the art kind of reminds me of something like in a comic a kill, something like that. And speaking of a coming a kill, uh, we have a coming a kill zero. Rather po polarizing series altogether. Um, I finally watched the coming a kill. Oh, excuse me, sorry about that. I watched the coming a kill anime not too too long ago, and you know, I you gotta go into a coming a kill knowing what it is. You know, I mean, it's. <sighs> It could, I, I hear the manga is different, so I'm really looking forward to getting to where the manga is. And then obviously this manga is based off of Akime's story, and so that's also really interesting. So I don't know exactly how Akime's story works out in the manga version, which is more of the true version. But this is interesting. It's it's cool to see Akami's roots and how she, you know... I don't like seeing Akami as a bad guy. So I will definitely get a first take video on that, hopefully sometime in the future as well. Then we have volume 4, A Visit Wrong to Pick Up Girls in a Dungeon. Uh, this is like one of those just guilty pleasure type series. It's fun. Um, I'm The art like isn't like the greatest in the world, but it's fun. Again, it's got that RPG dungeon crawler style uh, series. And it's just, that I love that kind of setting. And so this is the type of story that really plays into that. I've read most of this volume, but I haven't read it all yet. But it's been it's been just as good as it has been. And then I picked up this volume used, a Spice and Wolf Volume 9. I've really gotten behind on Spice and Wolf. I haven't read Spice and Wolf in a long time. Uh, the volumes like were coming out pretty slowly, and then I just kind of lost track of the series. And so I think I have volumes up through like Volume 6 or Volume 7. And so I know at some point I'd love to get back into the series and read it again. But um, I saw Volume 9 used, and like I'll pick that up, and maybe that'll nudge me into uh, getting back into the series. Because I would like to do that. And then we have uh, Sword Art Online Girls Ops. Um, I don't think I ever did a first take video on the first volume, so I'll have to do that. I haven't had a chance to watch this one yet. Uh, to watch this one yet. To read this one yet. Um, the, the girls in Sword Art Online are probably, I guess, the highlight of it. Another rather polarizing series. But uh, it's interesting. There have been several um, series that have done things like this. And they're they're fun to read. They're usually nothing special. I mean, there's nothing usually overly great about series like this. Um, I believe Code Geass did it as well. Uh, I think they had, like, the Kings and Queens or something like that. So they did as well, and it was more of like a compilation of stories from different artists. But I think in this series, at least, the artist is the same, and so I do like that aspect of it. And then another used volume I grabbed of Is This a Zombie, Volume 2. I haven't had the chance to read Volume 1 yet, but slowly but surely, um, as I see these, um, if I see them used, I'll you know go ahead and pick them up, because I would like to read it at some point, and so hopefully if I can get a bunch of these volumes um, all at once, I'll be able to uh, you know read them all at once instead of having to wait uh, for new volumes to come out. Alright, and then we have a couple sets here. So we have Inu, Bo Inu X Boku volumes. <laughs> this is gonna be a little odd. But volumes 2. So here's volume 2. Man, these are really pretty volumes the more that I look at them. Volume, I like the color scheme as well. You wouldn't think that you, the yellow and, and pink go well together, but they really do. Um, volume 3. That is volume 3, right? Yeah, volume 3. <laughs> I'm like, do I have my order mixed up? Uh, volume 4, right here. And then volume 5. Ooh, it's a little, 
There we go. The, 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 my lighting does not like this yellow color. But yeah, you're wondering, well, where's volume one? So I found um, these all used, as a matter of fact, and that makes me sad because I'm sure somebody else got there before me and found, and so they just picked up volume one. And so, but I wasn't going to just pick up volume one. I picked up volumes, you know, two through five. And so hopefully um, now that I, I haven't, I never really even considered buying this series, uh, but I saw them there and now I'm interested to go ahead and read them now that I have several of the volumes. So now all I have to do is get volume one and then I'll be able to uh, really get into the series and, uh, and, and hopefully I'll even be able to do like a first take on that series when I first started as well. But uh, I feel bad sometimes doing that. It's like, oh, I don't even have volume one yet. I shouldn't be buying them, but I did anyway. So here we have Dura Ra Ra the Seiki Arc. Oh, Dura Ra Ra. It's been a long time for me, truthfully, since I got into Dura Ra Ra. I haven't really read much of the manga at all. I have volumes 1 through 3, by the way. I haven't read much of the manga. Um, I actually have um, several volumes. I hate volumes that do this. They have like this, like, sort of like laminate, and then like this one's different. It's like, why would you do that? Why why would you change up the, co the cover styles? Like, <laughs> halfway through. So here we go. That's volumes um, 1 through 3. And so... I have several, what do I have? I'm going to turn around and like look. Um, I have behind me, I think I have just the first original four volumes of Dorara. Uh, I don't, I think I've read the first two volumes. I'm going to get into it. I'm going to read them. I've watched a lot of the anime and so I kind of like know what happens to a certain extent. And so, but I do want to want to get in and read some more of those. And then to round off, we just have some used volumes and some older volumes. We've got some Tokyo Pop stuff right here. So this is the Aoi Yuri o, um, Ash, uh, Awashi. And so, I, that's not even close to how you say that. I, I like, I had this down before I started the video. I was like, I was like saying it and practicing it. Because I'm like, I know how to say it now. Ah, yeah, screw it. It's fine. So, I have volumes four, five. Man, Tokyo Pop. I heard rumors that like Tokyo Pop was actually going to try to, you know, like, I don't know come back or like start publishing again or do something who knows what's gonna happen with that but mm, I don't believe it I, when I see it but you know so here's volumes four through uh, seven as you can see right here and you might have seen I think it was last month I had volumes one through three so that brings me in now to volumes uh, one through seven I don't know how many volumes there are or if Tokyo Pop managed to finish that series but I'll find out at some point and then we have another used volume from Yen Press, just Witch Buster. Um, I don't. I know I don't have volumes five and six, but I now have to go through my collection and find out which volumes I do have of this series. I'm really not sure. I'm pretty sure I have volumes three and four somewhere. I don't know if I have. I can't remember if I have volumes one and two or not. If I do, it's in a video somewhere. But. Uh, uh, the, I know my Witchbuster ones got put in a box because I didn't have the complete series yet, you know, with my whole moving stuff going on. So I really got to find out what volumes I have. And then the last volume is Excel Saga Volume 1. It's funny because I've never really heard much about this series, and I've never really paid much attention to it because it's a little bit older, a little bit before my time. It's even got the old uh, Viz logo, as you can see right there. But, um,. I see this sometimes, sometimes I see used volumes around, but I never saw, like, I never see volume one. So I finally saw volume one and decided to pick it up. I think I had the first two volumes. Yeah, I do. I have the first two volumes. And so, I just, again, another older series that at some point, when I do get a break from the new stuff I've been reading, I would like to go ahead and get in and read this series as well. So anyway guys, that does just about wrap up my March manga pickups. And so you might have noticed a bit of a lack of like new volume pickups that came out from the month of March. Trust me, those are coming. Um, I got those volumes a little bit late and so I'm still getting some of them. And so you can definitely expect some awesome ones that I'm, because I haven't got the chance to read them and I would like to talk about them a little bit. Ones like, I can give you a bit of a sneak peek, like Nichi Joe. can't wait to read that one, Prison School. Uh, uh, Seven Seas had a bunch of great ones last month, and so there are some ones that I'm really looking forward to getting to that I already have, but I may have got them a little bit after March, so I'm just going to go ahead and slide them into next month's video so you guys will have to wait, but you can look forward to the fact that I will be talking about those during the month of April um, as I read them to get you some first takes because I do have a lot of new volumes to talk about. But anyway, guys, I think that does just about wrap up this video. And so, I have been Fiddle Ferret, and I will see you back on the prowl next time. Bye-bye!